Everyone, put on your seatbelt. <laughs> okay, this is a nightmare on Plum Street. I fell asleep and dreamed the dream of homemade pies and cakes and soft and gooey cookies like my sweet old grandma makes. The pies and cakes that gathered there had all been contest bound, waiting on the judge's choice, a winner not yet found. But then the sky grew dark and gray, the air grew dank and stale. The clouds rushed in with vehemence, the light began to fail. And as I turned my face upon those dark and roaring skies, as thunder roared and howling winds blew rain into my eyes, a creme brulee came hurtling past and landed with a thud, a flan with no redeeming grace lay scattered in the mud. A woman screamed and pointed at the quickly darkening clouds as ghouls came forth quite numberless in dank and dirty shrouds. Dank. Dank, yes. Okay. The pastry ghouls came swarming down, their voices keening low of payments never made for all those sweets and treats below. They scooped them into plastic bags like demons deep obsessed. The entries for the contest here were being repossessed. <laughs> the flan Renee Manteca made and that we thought might win and all the other references I hope to shoehorn in <laughs> were being shoved into the bags clamped around the demons' wrists. The bags tied off when they were full with dream and moldy twists. Then, Ella, stood and clenched her fist and screamed, you've gone too far. You only were supposed to come and take back Stuart's car. <laughs> and she cried, I just I'll put the payments in the bank. Demons halted in their task, their eyes confused and blank. With payments made, the ghouls could see no reason now to stay. They dropped the bulging goodie bags and chose to fade away. The clouds rolled back, the sun shone forth, the rains began to thin, and all those gathered knew that now the contest could begin. The cakes and pies were all laid out on tables, fresh and clean. The judges, hiding beneath their chairs, stood up and could be seen ready now to judge the entries each contestant brought, which means I only had the time to leave a final thought. The thought I had adds nothing to the tale that's told so far, though it does give me another chance to mention George Clark. <laughs> and brings me to the question that I didn't want to hear. Why couldn't they have repossessed desserts I ate last year? <laughs>